We zijn nog steeds zaterdag en het festival zit er nog lang niet op. Maar op Graspop, Metal Meeting en in onze studio hebben we wel de jongens die vanavond in stijl gaan afsluiten. In Flames, welkom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I was just telling that you guys are the headliners of tonight. Um, yeah, absolute headliners. Your last band to play tonight, um, even after Deep Purple. Yeah, that's insane. We're How does that make you yeah, feel? It's uh, surreal. Out there. It's a yeah. space. Uh, yeah. <laughs> doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, we we long. T- I mean, basically, fans since we grew up of Deep Purple. So this is a fantastic opportunity. We can actually go see them yeah. first and then get pumped from that. Then go play our show. So that's awesome. amazing. Yeah. Um, now, if you guys say we've been fans from Deep Purple as we were kids or young, um, are you aware that nowadays there are kids, there are youngsters that look up to you guys just the same? You're saying we're old? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Th- no. Well, actually, yes. <laughs> but on the other, no, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's the best um, compliment you can have. Um, somebody who says they like your music or like your guitar playing or, or just come to your show and support you. Uh, it's the best compliment you can possibly have. And, and for us, being able to uh, rejuvenate our audience, it's fantastic. We see uh, people that came to the show in the early days bringing their kids nowadays. Mm-hmm. They're, yeah. they're of age yeah. to see the show now, which makes us a little bit old. But it, it's a very, very <laughs> cool thing. You know? and, and I like that. It, it's supposed to be over generations. So it's a, it's a really good thing. Now, In Flames is one of the bands that um, played here a few times earlier. Uh, even you started in the earlier slots, now you're headlining. Um, there are a lot of bands that did that here. But if we ask them, um, they say, yeah, it's a kind of surprise and we didn't do And Isn't it also because you work really hard to get there? Absolutely. I mean, all the bands that are playing here are working really hard. You, you wouldn't be at this festival if you oh. didn't work your ass off. You know, that's basically how it is. And you need to tour, tour, tour. You need to, uh, as you said, work hard um, on these festivals. You have to start from the very humble beginnings. And um, we're extremely fortunate to, to be where we are. Um, but we put a lot of thought into our live show. Uh, we always did, even if it's a small club or if it's on a festival. It's extremely important. I think, for my part, I think this is the most fun part uh, of being in the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Show, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is. That's where everything comes alive. Yeah. You, you do and you're on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on your own, kid. Yeah. Ready <laughs> to jump. <laughs> and this uh, and this connection with the audience yeah. just makes it a mind blowing experience. Yeah. Buff. Yeah, totally. Metal. Yeah. Now, if if this is the fun part, what is the part in your life being a musician um, that is the li- least fun? Um. If there's a lot of traveling, obviously, and in the beginning, when you start out, it's like the most exciting thing ever. Uh, you know, just being at an airport is fucking exciting. You know, but <laughs> it's really not exciting <laughs> anymore. Um, being away from family, obviously, is, is a side effect of it. Now, they've all been around for such a long time, so they know that we're. This is what we do. We travel, um, but uh, th- that's the major drawback. But I, I'm really not complaining. This is a fantastic uh, life. This is a fantastic opportunity for us to do. Something that started out as a as a big interest and, a, and, and like a hobby, a passion, and being able to do this full time in front of all these people together with these guys. Yeah. I, I mean, you have I to pinch your arm sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can, yeah I, there's nothing to complain about. Even the the b- backside of it is so worth it. You know. Yeah. Um, f- last week, Five Finger Dead Punch, uh, the band you go on tour with later on, had a major hiccup. Mm-hmm. Um, Right, the day that uh, or the day before the tour was announced, is that also something that makes you guys worry? Or I'm not worried. I mean, this uh, has, as far as I understand, it happened before. Um, but I think on it's more on a personal level. It's really sad when when somebody is not feeling good, you know, and especially somebody as talented and uh, something as some guy as important as this guy is, and together with this awesome band, I'm. It saddens me, but we also have a lot of time for for him to get well, and um, this should be an awesome tour. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's be honest, you guys are a really a successful metal band, and we have to be honest, uh, it's not only you, you have a good crew oh. with you oh guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic yeah. crew. Yeah. How tight are you with those guys? Really tight. Yeah, extremely yeah, yeah. tight. It's, it's family. Yeah. I mean, without them, we couldn't do the show. No. It's as simple as that. Yeah. It's very simple. I mean, each and every part of this crew has been 
with us for either a very long time or they just got in and they fit perfectly. Um, our sound guy and, and tour manager, Tom, he's from Austria, by the way. He's been with us for almost 20 years now. It's yeah, like, yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah it's Greg's been with us for, it's going to be 10 years next year. And Fish. Fish, 10, ten years, years next year. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so it's, uh, they're absolutely necessary and a fantastically hardworking uh, crew. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better crew. Um, now, if we're correct, we're not that far from a 30th year anniversary. Yeah, we're kind of far away from that. Come on, Al. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 42. I, c I wasn't 12 when I joined the band. I was 19 when I joined the band. So we're, we're still far off. But let's yeah. talk about this in seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's seven years? Yeah. yeah I don't when know, did you guys start it? Do you remember? I joined 95. Yeah. Band, I think, as an embryo or like an idea, was around maybe around the early 90s, 91, 92, 93. Now, what if there's a big anniversary coming up for the band and you get a blind blind check? You don't have no worries about money, finances. What would you do to celebrate this band? Exactly what we're doing right now. We don't, yeah, we, I don't think we talked, we've been asked about if you want to do just this one record or whatever because it's the 20th anniversary or whatever. It's not interesting. You know, we, we've evolved since the beginning and, and that's the whole point to this band. You know, to move on, to, to create something that we feel is relevant and for who we are at the moment. 20 years is a long time. And you grow musically as well as, as a person and, and your interest and, and taste change. So, I mean, I've seen these tours and, and most of these guys really pull it off. And it, it's really, really good. And it's nos nostalgic because you were there when you, know, you heard that record. But as a member of this, I'm not really interested in that. I say that now. Let's talk about it in seven years again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a great show tonight. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you. Thanks for having uh, us. We'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. In seven years, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>